Hello lovely gamers and welcome in today we are going to build a beautiful porch add-on using the new building blocks that came in the last update. I'm going to build it onto my guest house out here or trophy house. I haven't quite decided what this house is going to be but I am just going to start building a porch add-on basically right next to it using all of the building blocks that we got. Um, and so I'm just gonna make it the size that I want and as big as I want and at the end of the video I will show you how the pavilion compares to my porch that I build so you guys can see the difference in just using the pavilion or building your own porch I had a lot of fun and a little bit of frustration building this uh, but yeah, I think I love how it turned out in the end So I hope you guys enjoy this little build process So there would be times where I was trying to connect these and it kept saying some things in the way. Um, I don't know if my pet was in the way or what, uh, but I did find if I just put the block away, got out of the menu, picked it back up, um, then I could just like place it down. It may have been my pet, I'm not sure, uh, but yeah, we had to deal with that a few times. After getting my corner pieces done, I found these slanted ones and I thought I would make this really cool design with slanted ones on each side kind of going up to the roof. Let me tell you, this was actually way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. I got the one on the right to snap in place, but this one right here would just not go on to the pole that I had. It just wouldn't go. It was, it took me so long to figure out how to finally do this. Um, I don't know if I would do this again because it was a little frustrating, but I love the way it looks in the end. So maybe, uh, but I'll show you guys how I did it in a second. I actually decided to build myself a little staircase and get the roof going and that really helped me get the other one of those slanted pieces on the other side. So now I'm just going to go through and do the entire roof first and then I add the edge slanted pieces because they snap onto the roof which makes sense um, and it makes it so much easier to then just line all of those up. So here you can see if you work from the roof and then you take all of these slanted pieces, you can get them to snap next to each other and attach to your roof. And then you can make your nice little slanted design. It took me a really long time to figure this out. Um, so hopefully it'll save you guys some time if you wanna do a design like this. Make sure that you do it from the top looking down and it makes it so much easier. Okay guys, here is the final build. Just a little porch to go off my guest house right here. Um, I absolutely love how this turned out. I love that I could make it any size that I want to. I have lots of flowers. I have space to sit with the fire pit back here. Look, I got this today, like literally just now got the cute little mushroom plushie from the Twitch drop. So I added him in. Um, around the back, we have a nice little place to wash your hands before dinner, another couch to just kind of like sit and relax. But I just love how inviting and warm this turned out. And I added tons of flowers to the top of the roof. I need to get more yellow flowers so I can add them around the back. But I love how you can add flowers and make it look just so, so cozy. I did want to show you guys the pavilion attached to this house because I know that we already have the pavilion and you can just use that. You don't have to build your own porch. Um, but I had so much fun just building my porch. So my porch is five of these blocks across. So it's actually a little bit bigger than the pavilion and you can even make it six or seven you can make it as big as you want to make it the other thing i would say about the pavilion is you're very limited with where you can set lights you can only put them across on the beams and in my build you can put the lights basically anywhere oh i don't know why this light turned off hold on there we go you can put the lights anywhere you want to you can do an entire row of lights all the way down every time every time you see like a block you can just put a light on it so you can have as many lights as you want in your own porch that you make also the flowers on top you can't do that on the pavilion so i did try i built myself a little block staircase to get up here um, which the little blocks are very nice for getting around if you need to get up high but as you can see you can't add any um flowers to the top of the pavilion but you can add flowers till your heart's content to the top of your 
own porch that you build. You can't add trees to the top. I did try. <laughs> um, and you cannot add trees, but you can add all the beautiful flowers up there and make it look as lush and pretty as you want to. Um, I also use the pavers to kind of give yourself a path to going to the guest house and coming out to the outside um, eating area, but I absolutely love the way that this turned out. I hope that this video gave you guys a little bit of inspiration for how to use the building blocks. I did have some troubles here and there, but I figured it out mostly, and I think they're an awesome addition to this update, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Make sure that you leave a comment. Let me know how you liked this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!